here, please pray. <laughs> Listen, y'all, it got, <laughs> he was at the daughter. I, I don't know what God trying to do with this. <laughs> I got to bring in some reinforcement. <laughs> I got to, I got to bring in some reinforcement. And, uh, 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 listen here, you got y'all got to see what was going on. The enemy was trying to kill the daughter. The ruler had sense enough who to go to. Oh Jesus Christ! Listen here, listen. Can can I? Can, I'm in the middle of this message. And it's getting hot in here. Can I get you to please stand with me and pray for me, please, Apostle? I'm already in, baby. Okay, thank you, thank you. I love you. Bye. Listen now, listen now. I didn't know I was going to do this. Look, he was literally trying to kill the seed. It's what the enemy was after. The enemy was after the seed, but now the ruler had a connection with God. The ruler had sense enough to know how to pray and where to go to get the answer. But the ones that stayed back at the house were the ones that was in major trouble. God help me. They were the ones that was in major trouble. You can tell my brother Buck don't serve God because he would be in service right now instead of calling me. God, please help him to get him a place to set his feet in his family and lead them to the path of righteousness for your name's sake, please. Look, this is the thing. You you, you can literally tell now that they were back at the house with the daughter while this was going on. And But the ruler had sense enough to go to the master in order to get somebody, please, here. God today. The ruler has sense enough to say, I don't know what y'all gonna do, but I'm finna go over this way. And the ruler goes to Jesus. Lord, I the ruler goes to Jesus. Lord, have mercy. And the ones back at the house with the girl ain't got a better faith. God help me, please. Because if they had her, she wouldn't uh, Ah, oh, Jesus, help me. God, help me, please. <laughs> Jesus looks at the ruler and says to the ruler, don't you be afraid. He says, you ain't got to do but one thing. Ain't right, that what he told him? He said, don't worry about doing a whole bunch of stuff. Just make sure you, that's all I need you to do. I just need you to believe. When them jokers quit believing, you keep believing. When they stop going, you keep going. Verse 37 says, And he suffered no man to follow him. Look at here. Now Jesus is about to work this saying out. He suffered no man to follow him, save Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. Jesus said, wait a minute. I got to steal away for a second. I only got a few of y'all I can take with me. Can I say this to somebody to help you? It's a few people the Lord got anointed for you to talk to. It's a few intercessors that you can talk to and say with them to say, wait a minute. I need you, you, and you. Because I need to let y'all know what's going on. I need to bring y'all in on the situation and the circumstance as some backup for me. Because you fixing to learn something in this yourself. You got to understand that when you go through, it is so other people can learn from it too. That is the reason why there is a difference in being secretive and being private. If you tell the testimony, somebody else can be healed. He said, look, I'm just going to take a three. I'm going to take three of y'all with me. Verse 38 says, Mark 5 and 38. And he cometh to the house of the ruler of the synagogue. Jesus made it to the house. He going. Don't worry. He going. <laughs> Don't worry now. <laughs> when I get scared, 
You get scared. <laughs> I told a lady yesterday. <laughs> I said, when I get scared, you get scared. If he ain't scared, don't you get scared. I promise you that. Because if I don't know nothing else, I know danger. And when the Lord tell me that there is a danger and unction me to pray, I know that. But if the Lord don't unction me to move, about a situation. I say this right here and I ain't messing with that. When you hear me say that, that means God got that. Don't worry about it. He comes to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and see if the torment. Look at them. And them that wept and wailed greatly. Look at that. He see all that grief going on in there. They in there crying their eyes out. And they're just weeping. Jesus see all that. See every bit of that he done come to the house now. See the thing of it is, it's what that lets you see is. Now I need y'all to notice this. Jesus had to come to the house. Yeah. 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 He wasn't there. Mm-hmm. He had to come to the house. Yes, no. But now check this out. The ruler of the synagogue knew about him, so somebody in there knew about him. Yeah. 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 So he now comes to the house. Yeah. See them in there weeping and wailing. They done shifted the whole atmosphere in the house. The atmosphere now full of grief. Ain't no excitement in there. The atmosphere now is damp. It's all down in the dumps. It's full of grief. This is where it is. Jesus has got to show up when the atmosphere get like that. Jesus has got to show up, y'all. Can't nobody do nothing but Jesus. Jesus has got to show up. He's got to show up. So... He sees all of that in the welling, he says. And then it says, look at the last word in verse 38. It says they were welling how? Oh, my God, they were in it bad. Verse 39 says, and when he was come in. Can I get y'all to say that? Come in, Jesus. Come in, Jesus. And when he was come in. I love that. I say out there at 1642 Highway 134. And when he was coming, you might want to put it on your address. And when he was coming, baby, it says, he says unto them, why make ye this ado? And we, he said, what y'all doing? What is y'all doing? That damsel is not dead, but sleep. See, you can get so messed up that you don't even know. You can't even tell the difference. You don't even know what the cop. Yeah, I, I rest my case today, y'all. I rest my case today. You can get so messed up and get so far out there, so far fetched in your mess and locked up in your emotions and in yourself that you don't even know how to call right wrong and wrong right. You don't even know what the deal is. He said, what's wrong? This girl is asleep. Y'all done come and told this man. The girl dead. I told y'all watch your inner circle. Uh, when I say inner circle, I say that. I say your inner circle. Uh, you see that inner, that inner circle? I told you watch your inner circle now. You... The sent word to this man. He gone now. He ain't at home. You done sent word that the good day. You done got me all messed up about something that ain't even true. I done told you. <laughs> hey, girl, go get in your truck. Go home, Delphine. You need to straighten up your house anyway. Go home, girl. <laughs> You can mess around and let folk get in your ear. They say with the wrong stuff and they'll mess you up. You hear what I tell you now? They'll have you believe in something that ain't even true. Because they'll have it, they'll give it to you from their perception. Not from the truth. They'll give it to you. From how they view it. When it's far from the reality Amen. of the truth. Right. Well, this is you know, just the way I see it. 
And I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's how you see it. But that don't mean it's true. Because that's how you see it. That don't mean it's real. Because that's how you see it. Hmm. Verse 40 says, And they laughed him to scorn. Them some bold jokers. Them some bold jokers now. I need to tell y'all, this was not just put in the scripture by happenstance. I need to tell y'all that. This was not just put in the scripture for you to for you to believe that it's not true. It says they laughed him to scorn. A laugh to scorn can li- is literally not like what you would think in the form of <laughs> but was, it was in a form of they kept saying that crazy. That girl this is dead as she can be. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, man. And don't even make no sense. And it's just crazy. That's the laugh and the scorn. That's the same laughter that Sarah had in the tent. She laughed inside of herself. Didn't mean <laughs> the laughter inside of her was saying, man, my wound closed. Exactly. That ain't going to ever happen. That's the laugh and the scorn. See, a lot of us have been guilty of laughing to scorn concerning things. When we do not believe that it has the capability to happen. So when it talks about them laughing to scorn, that's what it's talking about. Now that the Holy Ghost just gave me. I'm not. That's why I, I, you know, I'm serious, y'all, man. I've been trying to find. I told Sharika and Vicky yesterday. I said, I've been literally trying to find some people to listen to. And I just can't find nobody. I've been just really down and out because I like to listen to preaching. You know, but I can't find nobody to to listen to because there's not nobody, you know, really that just provokes the other part of me that side of me that wants to you know expand more and to grow most of the stuff is stuff I I got to in a certain sense you know so I really don't have anything so what you hear me preach is out of the vessel that God has poured inside of me himself is what he gives me now nobody has ever heard and maybe some preachers will hear my message and will try to fight against what I just said in explaining the laughing to scorn but baby listen God gave me that it's Explain that to me just as clear then. The laugh to scorn was not a laughter in what you think and know. I don't know the Greek terminology and the Hebraic terminology, but I know what the Holy Spirit is revealing to me. The laughing to scorn was in the essence of saying, that is not real. That man crazy. What is he talking about? That girl is as dead as she can be. You know, what is he talking? That's the laughing to scorn. It says, and they laughed him to scorn. And then the next word after that is what? Oh, y'all do that. But, you see that but? They laughed him to scorn. When he had put, get out of here. Get out of here. Sometimes you got to clear the room. Get out of here. Get out of here. When he had put them all out, he take the father and the mother. I need to tell somebody something mm-hmm. by way of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. If I be a woman of God, mm-hmm. and this morning when I rose, mm-hmm. I didn't have no doubt. I need to tell somebody that I hear the Holy Ghost this morning. I need to say this to you so that you understand. Somebody is in their ear. I need to tell you that. Somebody is in their ear. I need to tell you that again. Somebody is in their ear. I need to tell you that again. Somebody is in their ear. I need to tell you again. Somebody is in their ear. The Holy Spirit spoke to me this morning and told me, said, Delphine, please understand this, sweetheart, and know that Trim is in a place again as to where there are people fighting to try to get your sheep. Ooh, 
somebody is in their ear. Ooh, y'all better hear me. I know God when I hear God. I, he confirmed it through a conversation I had with Apostle this morning. Bought revelation. I didn't even tell her, but it was some things that we talked about this morning that gave me revelation. You got to understand there are different seasons that you will go through and seasons come again. Well,